What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be reviewing Maven Analytics new portfolios to see if they're any good. Now, quick introduction, if you don't know what Maven Analytics is, it is a website or a company that basically helps you become a data analyst. They have courses and learning paths and a lot of other stuff on their website. And something new that they just recently launched is their online portfolios. Now, I've talked about the importance of having a portfolio on this channel many times because I really do think it's important to showcase your skills and show potential employers where you're at. I've even shown you how to create your own portfolio website using GitHub pages and kind of walked you through how to use Wix. But this is an entirely different option that I think is really interesting. So we're just going to review it and see what it's like and see if it's any good, see if it's worth putting your projects here and kind of creating your portfolio on their website. Um, and full disclosure, they did give me access to be able to do this review. So shout out to me, the analytics, but that will not skew my review in any way. I promise you, I'll just kind of show you everything while well, review it. And then at the end, I'll kind of build my own and see how I like their interface and see how it all works. Okay. So I have many tabs pulled up because these are kind of all the things that I want to show you. Uh, the first thing is, is this is their portfolio showcase. You can see this right up here. Uh, and this is kind of where they showcase different people's projects and every project that you put in your portfolio is public so anybody can see it so if we scroll down right here we have this winner so gerard dugan duggan uh he was featured so you can see his stuff um and you can see a bunch of other projects and this is actually really nice if you are looking for inspiration for like visuals or different projects this is a fantastic place to go this isn't the purpose of this review but just a side note, this is a really good place to look. Um, and it looks like some of these uh, are just like placeholders. Um, but that's this is like the showcase where they showcase your project. Now I can create a project. Let's click on this. Um, I can create my own project and it's going to bring me here. Now I'm going to come here in just a little bit. Actually, I'm not going to start this right now because I'm going to try to do that in a little bit. I'll create my own. But um, Chris, who is the CEO of Maven Analytics, uh, on his LinkedIn, share this exact uh, profile. And I just wanted to show it to you guys because I thought it was interesting as well. This is kind of what a finished portfolio looks like. So let's just scroll through here really quickly, see what it looks like, see what's all in it. Um, and then, you know, we'll give our, uh, give our feedback. So it looks like it has uh, some like header. I don't know if that's auto generated or if that's uh, something that come or, you know, you can customize that. Uh, but Weehan Ruse, um, and all this is totally public. So you can't, you know, this isn't like a private thing that you can just share to recruiters. Anybody can go in here and click it, like kind of like a website. Um, so it looks like here are his projects and they have GIFs. Like I, I'm, I'm sure you can do like a picture or a GIF or something like that or GIF, however you want to say it. Um, and then he has this, um, this about section. We even have work experience. So it looks like this guy is not new to this industry. He was an accountant, then he became an analyst in 2016, and now he's a senior specialist business intelligence uh, currently. So you can put your work experience. You can also do your education. These are mostly just Microsoft certifications, but I'm guessing you can put like your education with school. So if you have a bachelor's degree, master's degree, uh, and that's all he has in here. So education and work experience. So let's click into one of these projects because I am curious to see what these look like. Um, okay. And okay. So I'm guessing this is like where you can like write about it or something. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Looks like it's, um, uh, populating it. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm understanding it better. So I'm guessing he, this is a link or this is a, an embedding of actual, his power BI project. So it was like fetching it basically. Um, so we have this. And we can size it. And it looks like this is this whole project. Oh, this looks really good. <clears throat> so this is a good project. It looks really neat. I'm not verifying any of the visuals or data or anything. I'm just visually, it looks pretty cool. Um, I don't know what any of this means. I, I mean, I know who uh, Messi is, but I don't know what any of this data means. But it looks really good. So this looks like if you embed a Power BI link, like you have a Power BI subscription and you embed the link, uh, you can do this. And so... Uh, yeah, then he kind of walks through and then he has his more projects. So, okay, right off the bat, here's my initial thoughts. <clears throat> One, I like that on this main page, he has multiple projects. 
I always think Meeple should have multiple projects. I like that it has this kind of about section. One thing right off the bat that it just is not ideal, it's not perfect, is that it's on Maven Analytics' website. It's not like your own website. That's the only downside I've seen so far because when somebody clicks on your link, it'll take them to this page, uh, which is not bad at all. It's just, you know, it has extra stuff up here at the top, which, you know, it'd be better if it was just like this. That's my feedback. Um, but so far, the actual stuff in here is good and even has a link to his LinkedIn, uh, which I like. And I like the projects. Uh, let's take a look at another one and let's see what this one take, looks like. Um, so this one doesn't have an embedding, it looks like. It looks like it's just um, pictures, I believe. And so he actually, this is kind of like a narrative. So this is a really good, um, a really good thing to see because it looks like the last one was an embedding. He actually put Power BI in there. He had a link. And for this one, it's just pictures and a narrative, which I really like when people do this, when they have like a narrative because I can read through it. I can see their pictures. I'm guessing these are pictures. Uh, maybe I'm not sure. Um, and then you can kind of read through it and see it. So I, I like this. I really like how it's set up already. Um, and additional images. This is cool. No, this is great. Uh, I really, really like this. I think this is fantastic. I think it is a good way to showcase your projects. And that's the whole purpose of this. The whole purpose is to be able to showcase, you know, your projects and your skills to a potential employer. So on that front, it's already completely succeeding. I think it's really good. Um, and if this were my profile, I would definitely share this. Uh, this would be something that I would be proud of and I would share. So overall, as a quick review, I think this is very good. Now, the review is not going to end there. I also want to see how you can build it to see if the interface for actually creating your portfolio is any good. Uh, that does make a difference. So I'm going to come right over here. I was able to find this. This is my profile right here. Uh, it's very empty, but we're going to fill it up really quickly. Now, there are two things I can do here. I can, or I'll, There's multiple things, but I can either add a new project or I can edit my profile. So if I click on edit profile, it's going to take me right over here. And I can add and change a lot of different information. One thing I really wanted to show you is this preferences right down here. This is really important. Under this preferences section, you can actually specify your work availability. So you can say you're available for a full-time role. I could click that. I could also say I'm available for a part-time role and freelance opportunities. So something that Maven Analytics you know, announced when they did this is that you can share your profile or they can share your profile for you to help you find jobs. And so potential employers can come onto their website. And I believe they already have a pretty big network of companies that use them for training and stuff like that. So this could be a really nice free way to get and kind of like apply for jobs and get your name out there. So it's just something to note. Um, and also you can kind of specify which things you want on there. So he just had, um, what was his name? Weehan uh, or Weihan. He, he had his social links. He has work experience and education, but he didn't have any additional links. So that could be things like your GitHub profile or your uh, Tableau profile or things like that, that you want to share also. So you can add additional links. So really, really cool. I'm not looking for any full-time roles at the moment. Um, so I'm not going to work on that. But you can add a profile photo, uh, which he did. You can add your occupation, company, a little bit about you. So people can really find a lot of information about you. And you can even like change your background. I want to change mine because mine did not. Mine was just this green one. I didn't like that one. Um, and here's LinkedIn, Twitter, GitHub, and YouTube channels. So they're basically giving you a lot of opportunities to have different links there, have different you know social medias and GitHub. I mean, they make it pretty easy and that's, not easy to do. I've created a lot of portfolio websites or, you know, my personal ones, and it's not easy to get all this stuff on there. So the fact that it's all kind of there for you is pretty cool. Uh, we have our work experience, education, and then here are our links. So um, I think everything I'm seeing so far looks really simple, looks very easy. I think what I want to do next is actually add some information, see how it populates it on my profile right here. And then see if it looks good. See if I can make it look good pretty quickly. Um, of course, this doesn't take like five minutes. This will take like 30 minutes, an hour to kind of get everything together, make it all look nice. But then at the end of it, you could have a really nice you know, portfolio to share with your employers and put on your resume. So uh, it seems like it definitely could be worth it.
So the first thing that I want to do is add some basic information. Uh, let's do uh, occupation is, I'll just say data analyst. I'll say Alex Analytics LLC biography. I love data. I love teaching and I love YouTube. I'll just keep it like that. Let's save it. Let's go back. I just want to see how this updates because I'm, I haven't done this at all yet. This is on the fly. I haven't even tried it yet. Um, okay. So we have, um, data analyst, Alex analytics, LLC. I love data and I love, uh, I love teaching and I love YouTube. Perfect. So it's updating. Well, no glitches. Oh, and there's my background, which looks uh, fantastic. I love the pre-selected ones, but I mean, you can add your own one. You, know, you can go to like Canva, Canva, um, and create your own with like your information in it or something like your email, your phone number, whatever you want to add. I wouldn't add too much personal information. So that's perfect. Uh, let's look at the banner. I already did that one. I'm not going to add, well, I could, let me add, um, so this is the GitHub. I'll show you this later. Cause I want to see if I can like add those, but here's my GitHub and let's save this and let's see if it updated. Give it a second. And there it is. Perfect. And you can add LinkedIn. I have my LinkedIn. I have my YouTube. So I can put it all on there, uh, which is really great. My work experience. Let's try adding a work experience. Let's do uh, analytics manager. A B for the company I used to work at Amerisource Bergen. I think I started in like, um, let's use this, this feature. I think it was the end of 2022. Oops. Uh, which was like, I think it was like October. And then I, stopped working there like right around uh i think it was like the 16th uh let's add the work experience okay let's see if this updated i'm just trying to make sure everything works all right this is a review but it's also um if if they're watching this if uh you know they want to see this we want to make sure it works so there you go so it works properly uh and so far everything's good i mean um you know, it's simple. It's, you're not adding like a bunch of skills and what you actually did the job. It's just uh, kind of high level. Um, but overall, it works well. Education, I'm guessing, is the exact same. And then we have links. So you can add different links. Let me try to add this one. I want to see what it looks like. We're going to add this URL. This is my um, Alex Daniel. So these are some projects that we've done in Tableau in the past. I'm just going to add this link. And let's go see how this looks and give it a second it has to update now i will go back i'm going to get rid of this education section and there you go additional links so this is where you could add if you have your resume on a different website or something you could add that as well but i'm going to go back to these preferences i'm going to get rid of the education because i'm not going to use it i don't want to put my education in there um my education isn't that great anyways if i'm being completely honest so i'm going to get rid of it and just see what it looks like we'll see if it's any uh makes it look any better uh, and I'll get rid of skills, but let me see. Wait, let me see this top skills. Cause I don't remember this. Um, bu -bu -bum. okay. Final skills. Okay. So th this is specific to Maven analytics. You can't just go and put skills, SQL, Python, Tableau. You can't just go and put those in there. It's if you've taken the final assessments to show your skills. So you have to actually go and take Maven analytics courses on their website to use this. I would like it if you could just type it in. I think that'd be better. Um, but I get it. You know, they're a, they're a company. They have to, um, you know, they're giving this is a free product. So, you know, they're just allowing you to use this for free. So, you know, they kind of have to add their own thing in there, but, um, this is a review. That is something that I would make it to where you can manually input that as well. That's something I would do. Um, so yeah, so that's building it out, but let's actually try to add a project. Cause I don't have any projects yet. Let's get rid of this. I'm not going to change anything, I don't think. Um, but I could add a profile picture and stuff like that. But I just want to add a project. So let's see what adding a project looks like. And then we'll go from there. So let's do, um, I'm going to try to add like this Airbnb project. Let's try to add that. So I'm going to say um, Airbnb project. Um, add an image. Uh, I don't want to add, well, I, what I kid, could do is just take a picture of this, but I'm going to see if I can not add an image and just see if that works. Um, this is a Tableau project of Airbnb listings. 
and I'm just going to copy this. So let's save that. Perfect. Okay, so you don't have to have everything. They're not required. That's good to know. And this was uh, Tableau. So you can choose which tools. You can even say other. That doesn't prompt anything, but you can choose your tools. Um, yes, I need to save. All right, let's go to additional images. Um, I'm not going to do this one. I'm going to save that for one for the next one. Um, for the media, we can, okay, so this is the embeddings. We were talking about how uh, Weehan or Weihan, he had embedded his Power BI. I'm going to try to embed the Tableau. So let's go right here. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to put, um, wait, it said enter Vimeo URL. This is the Tableau public URL. So don't put the Vimeo URL there. Uh, I think that's just something that you need to update on the back end. Uh, but media name, I'll just say Tableau uh, or Tableau project. So now let's save this and let's view the project just as is. Um, this should be like when we clicked into his project. Okay, so it just gives us this default picture right here, which is the Maven Analytics logo. And then we have our Tableau project and it looks like it refused to connect. Let's try refreshing this and maybe that's the problem. Let's try refreshing it. Let's see if it doesn't refuse to connect. Uh, Tableau public refused to connect. Okay, so it didn't work uh, for this project. Let's try our other project. And maybe that's, um, and maybe it's looking for a Vimeo link and that's why it's not working. Now let's refresh this. Okay, so it looks like it's not connecting right away, uh, which, you know, we do want it to connect. Well, the Tableau one uh, is not working for me, but I'm just gonna delete this project and try another one. Uh, but try the Tableau, try the Power BI, see if they work for you. But now I'm going to do a different one. I'm going to do a Power BI project. Now, this is the exact one that we did um, for a for our Power BI series, and it's right here. So I'm going to add this data professional survey breakdown, and I'm going to add it, except I don't, I'm not paying for it. So I'm just going to do pictures. I'm going to see how that works. So instead of embedding it like we just tried with Tableau, I'm just going to put pictures in, and we'll see if that works. So I'll say this is a project in Power BI. Now, this is where when he wrote, when he did his uh, Road to Tokyo, this section down here, all about this project, he included all of this. So it looks like you can include a lot of information in here. Um, but I'm just going to say this is a Power BI project uh, and we will save it. Now let's add additional images. So now let's take this and take this. Let's open it. Let's save it. We're not going to embed anything, but we are going to say Power BI. We'll save changes. And let's view this project. Now let's see if these images work properly. Because again, it, using images is perfectly fine. Uh, I've done it several times. And so about this project, we have our images. Um, and this is a project that we did in the past and I just included like some of the data. It would be more in depth than this, uh, but you know, you can include really whatever you want. So we can say this is uh, our project in Power BI and we can add all the information kind of walking through what these are. Um, and then the about section, add a lot more information. So now let's go back to our profile and it says we haven't added any, let's go to, um, let's go right here. So, okay, so this is in a draft status. What we need to do is, um, let me see, copyright, view project page, edit page. Let's do edit, and how do I publish this? Maybe I have to upload something like this. Let's do the image, the product image, and let's do Power BI dashboard. Let's save it. Ah. We figured it out. Okay, so you have to have all these things. I didn't know that. Um, it says required for the project title, but it doesn't say required for any of these other things. But once I put this image in, I now can publish it. All right, I figured it out. Um, okay, let's publish it. Let's go to our profile and let's see if this works. Let's see if it's on there. And there it is, perfect. Uh, and even has this little, uh, you know, you can click on it. I mean, it took a little bit for me to understand, uh, but 
I did get it to work. The only thing that confused me was it says required here. It doesn't say required here. Feature, it's a great way to draw your attention. Ideal formatting, click here. Um, yeah, it doesn't say it's required, but apparently that is absolutely 100% required. Um, but I mean, in just a little bit, I've created a very basic, pretty simple portfolio, but I could add a lot more information to this, make it look a lot better. I should get rid of these things, top skills, and um, let me do that. I said I wasn't going to do it, but now I want to make it look good. Let's go to preferences. I'm going to get rid of final assessments. These, I'm going to save it. Let's go back here, click refresh. So this looks, I mean, honestly, genuinely, uh, I have a little trouble with the tab below. I want you to try it, see if it works for you. But the pictures and everything, it works. It looks good. You just kind of have to add a lot more information than I did. I was just doing this to demonstrate it. Um, but it even says, you know, this. So you can share your individual projects as well as sharing your entire portfolio, which is really great. I mean, honestly, for a f completely free product, it's pretty good. Uh, and it looks good and it's pretty professional. Now you just kind of have to customize it, make sure it is what you want. Um, but overall, I think it's really good. All right, so what are my key takeaways from reviewing this Maven Analytics portfolio? I really like it. Overall, I give it like an eight out of 10. I really like that it's free, super important. You can add as many projects as you'd like. You can embed stuff, although it didn't work perfectly for us, but it genuinely could just be me or it's something they need to update. Uh, but when you create yours, you can just try it. Um, but I like that you can add pictures. You can specify what skills you used on those projects. So this, it really has a lot going for it. Really, the only downside of using this is that it's hosted on Maven Analytics platform. So if you don't take their courses, then you don't get like the badges and the skills and stuff. I hope maybe they'll change that to just be able to write in your skills, which I think would be nice. Um, but the only other thing was that the Tableau link didn't work. Uh, and you know, you want your links to work, but again, that could just be me. I'm not hundred percent sure. So that is my review of the Maven analytics portfolio. If you want to do one yourself and create your own portfolio for free, I'll have a link in the description. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, be sure to like and subscribe below and I'll see you in the next one.